Hello friends! Today's uh, 30 things you need to know before I turn 30 is going to be three things you need to know about workplace gender equality. Um, this is a topic I'm very passionate about because I've seen it in practice in the corporate world and uh, it's, uh, it's something that I really think needs to change in the world in order for us to, um, to be a worthwhile race, really, as a species. I think this is necessary. Um, so the first thing I want to say is that uh, workplace harassment, workplace uh, discrimination and a gender pay gap, all of those things exist. They do exist. They're not just, um, they're not just a, a, a fad on Twitter or whatever. They're not just uh, myths and rumours. Um, you can see them in practice. There are statistics that back this up. Um, plenty of studies show that all of these things exist and uh, from my own experience uh, I can say that uh, a man once tried to steal my job uh, repeatedly and um, even after mediation he still claimed he'd done nothing wrong uh, um, there have been jobs where I was paid less than my male colleagues um, what else uh, and I literally one time had a guy at work touch my butt during a meeting um, so it happens, it's real, and uh, I don't want you to go into the workplace feeling scared about that, but I want you to know that it exists, because otherwise you'll be caught off guard, and it can be quite traumatic um, if you're not, uh, I guess, on the lookout for it. But, so that's the negative part. Point number two, though, is that you can actually do something about it. Um, and I'm not going to say, I'm not trying to victimize people who've had things happen to them. I mean, like I've said, like I've, I've had things happen to me in the workplace. Um, but what I'm saying is that if you do find yourself in a position where, um, you know, something's not right, then definitely you have the right to speak up for yourself and speak to your HR person, speak to your boss, unless it's your boss that you need to, uh, complain about. Um, yeah, definitely it is worth standing up for your pay and standing up for your rights as a human being. If not only for yourself, then for the women who are going to be in that role after you, the younger women who are coming through after you, um, and for the other women in your workplace who may be too scared at the moment to speak up. Um, so you can do something about it and it's worth doing something about it. And the third thing I'd say based on my experience is that uh, self-talk and talking to other people while you're going through a difficult workplace situation is really really helpful so self-talk things like um, literally I used to look in the mirror in the morning while I'm brushing my teeth and doing my hair and say to myself you know it sounds silly but say to myself you are a powerful woman you are a strong woman God is with you you're gonna have a great day um, that kind of thing like just affirmations to uh, to um, get yourself in that frame of mind from the very beginning of the day that I am in control of um, myself and my actions. I'm not in control of other people's actions, but I can be brave and I can stand up for myself and I do have power. Um, even if I feel powerless, I have power. Um, and talking to other people, yeah, absolutely essential. Um, yeah, because you shouldn't uh, be silent about these things you might feel, um, occasionally you might feel like, uh, shame or guilt as if it's your fault somehow that, uh, these things have happened, but it's never, it's never your fault. Nobody is ever asking to have workplace harassment or discrimination. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, worth talking to others, getting help and just getting support as well so that you can, um, continue to be, to be brave and, uh, persevere. Um, or to do what you need to do if you need to leave that job and um, move on. So, lots of options. Cool, so that was three things you need to know about workplace gender equality. Hope it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see the rest of the 30 things you need to know before I turn 30 series. Okay, bye!